My name is Brooke Boyce. My GPA is 4.099, and I am going to attend the University of Michigan. And I'm planning on studying computer engineering and never really done anything with it before, so it's all going to be new to me. Um, I'm excited, though. Well, being an MST, um, I was kind of tailored to go into engineering, science, math, and with technology nowadays, I've thought it's super interesting. Uh, I really like computers, so. <sighs> U of M has been my dream school since I can remember. <laughs> it's always been U of M. <laughs> um, well, like I said, um, being an MST, uh, my main focus all of high school basically was math, science, technology. So going into engineering, I've always been focused on math, science, and technology. It's always been my favorite subjects, so. <laughs> so outside of academics, I've always done a sport. Um, specifically in high school, I was in cheer and softball. And then I was pretty much in every club there was. <laughs> um, student council, leadership council are probably the top two that I was most involved in. But um, what they teach me, um, definitely leadership skills for sure, time management, um, taught me how to make friends, just how to talk to people. Yeah. I don't know if I could pick one, but student council, I've always, I've been in since elementary school. It's always been a top priority for me. It's where I made most of my friends, so. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, with the leadership skills, um, that's definitely set me aside in many things. Uh, time management, it's showed me how to know when to get my homework done and know when to have fun with the activities and all that stuff. Um, my biggest piece of advice would be don't focus so much on your failures because they teach you how to improve and how to be better. You can't just focus on the failures because you need failures to improve. Um, I would like to thank my family and my friends. I mean, they're my biggest support system. I couldn't have done any of it without my them. My name is John Clever. My GPA is 4.14 and I'm planning on attending U of M in the fall. I chose U of M because you know, I'm kind of shooting for the stars a little bit, but also just going there for the campus day tours. I really enjoyed being in the city of Ann Arbor and just the whole campus of U of M. It really, it just felt like home to me. I'm going to U of M to study computer science, and I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with that. There's a lot of fields you can go into with that, but I feel like the big pipe dream for me is maybe one day working with AI and computers. High school's prepared me for my future because not only has it provided me with all the academic courses I would need to go to college and be able to do well in these things. They provide me the whole MST program to have a lot more accelerated math and science, but I've also learned important things, not about just academics, but about life. Many of my classes have taught me how to stand up in front of a crowd and talk to people, how to just work with a group, and even how to prepare for a job or a job interview and things like that. Outside of academics, I did I did a few things. I participated in Science Olympiad for a year. I did Quiz Bowl for a year, but mainly I was in tennis for all four years of high school. All of my activities have kind of helped me prepare for things. It introduces you to a lot of different people and it just puts you in situations you wouldn't really think you'd find yourself in. It just helps me get to know people and just grow as a person. My advice for somebody that wants to become valedictorian would probably be to become a little competitive. I don't think anybody's ever reached the top where we all are just by doing what they can in high school, doing whatever they need just to pass. We've all, we've all seen each other and seen the grades and we wanted to get that so we had to work hard to get where we are. If I had to thank anyone, I'd probably thank my parents just because they've always believed in me. They support me, they feed me. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't eat dinner every night. They always believed in me and supported me if I was ever having trouble. They always want to help and they're always there to help me and support me when I'm just not able to handle something. They're there for me. My name is Leah Cook. I have a 4.042 GPA and I will be attending University of Detroit Mercy for their five-year PA program next year. I feel like the MST program has helped me the most because it's guided me into the science direction. So I feel like I um, am leaning towards medicine because of their influence on science and to that program. 
Well, for the MST program, we had to do a job shadowing experience. So in the summer, I um, shadowed an orthopedic PA, and I got to watch an OR surgery and um, observe her work with patients, and that made me um, really want to be a PA in the future. Um, I'm involved in student council, MST Meal for Theta, MST Leadership, um, Key Club. Um, I'm a volunteer for Henry Ford Health System, and I'm also a volunteer for Make-A-Wish Foundation. And um, I feel like dancing competitively has influenced me the most in school because it made me motivated to get all my work done, and it definitely taught me time management. Um, just again, it taught me a lot of time management skills, and it taught me I always have to be like on time and prompt with everything. So it really gave me the motivation to stay focused in school. Um, your GPA is just one number. It really doesn't matter that much. But I think that um, nothing easy is, or nothing worthwhile comes easy. And if you want to put the effort into it, it's worth it in the end. Um, I would like to thank my family, especially my mom and my dad and my sister. They're a really great support system. And all the friends, like my friend group that I've created throughout high school, they're really always there for me and I love all of them. I'm Connor Zanecki. Uh, my GPA is 4.067 and I plan on attending the University of Minnesota next fall. Uh, well, I really want to go into chemical engineering, so, and I think the MST program that uh, Pan, uh, like Pankow offers has really helped me, especially the physics aspect of it, and obviously calculus too, so that's, that's really like the biggest drivers behind what I want to do. So I don't really do any sports. I do rec basketball outside of school with a couple of friends, but uh, not on any of those like, school teams. Um, I am in NHS, Link Crew, and then Move Alpha Theta here at Pankow. Uh, those are like my three big clubs, and then I did ski club a few times because I, I like I really like snowboarding. So, yeah, um, I think move off of Theta. Uh, they give you opportunities to tutor other people, and I really think that helps me hone my math skills. So, teaching other people definitely helps me like remember what I need to know, and then it helps me do better on my tests. Um, I would just say like don't always take the easy way out. Try and challenge yourself a little bit because it is much more rewarding to see stuff like that pay off, even though you might have to struggle a little bit harder. But I definitely think taking harder courses and everything is well worth it to make it this far. So my mom and my dad, obviously, they've been really helpful. They've always been pushing me to do my hardest, and they've been going out of their way to do like college visits. Like this weekend, I flew to Minnesota to see what it was like, and now I'm going there. So that's pretty cool. And my mom and dad, they've always been super supportive and helping me along the way. So. My name is Caitlin Daly. My GPA is a 4.112, and I'm going to Michigan State University next year. Um, well, I've always wanted to go to Michigan State when I was younger, and my brother goes there, and my mom went there, so I just have always wanted to, I guess. Yeah, I want to go into biomedical engineering. So ever since I was younger, I really liked math. And then when I got to high school, I also really liked biology. So biomedical engineering is like a mix between the two. High schools help prepare me, especially through the MST program, because the teachers really push you to do your best. And they like, it forces you to learn how to study in, in that way. So it's prepared me like for what I'm going to have to do in college next year. Figures probably MST Leadership Council, just because we like help bring all like the MST kids together and help like promote like a fun group and like I guess just make like everybody in the program like work together. They've helped me um, be a leader and learn how to like help others too and they've also helped in a way of like community service and like just helping others in that way too. I would say to always push yourself to do your best no matter how much work it takes because in the end it'll all be worth it but also don't focus like too hard on school and just focus on also having fun. I would like to thank my parents and my siblings because they've always just pushed me to do my best and help me out when I get super stressed out. My name is Lauren Falzerano. My GPA is 4.00 something and I plan on going to Michigan State. I see my future career as a chemical engineer, hopefully, and high school has kind of just helped me like figure out what I like and what I don't like to kind of put me on that track. The sports or clubs that I did were probably, like at the beginning I did basketball and softball, but more towards the end I did Mu Alpha Theta and National Honor Society. I think the after school activities helped me kind of like build my personality and just like 
keep me going. The advice that I would give other people would be to just kind of set that one goal in their mind and don't really like stray far from it. I would definitely thank my parents because they kind of just pushed me throughout my entire like education to always do my best and never do anything less than what I thought I could do. My name is Maya Franklin. My GPA is a 4.0 and next year in the fall I'll be finishing up the early college program so I'll be at Macomb Community College. So I'm planning to go into business marketing or advertising specifically. And Lance Cruz has prepared me by offering the early college program because it's allowed me to get ahead, get a head start on my future. And I've learned a lot from my experiences, like internships and stuff like that. I highly recommend the program because it's such a good chance to get ahead, like while you can, like you might as well take it because it's such, you get such a head start on school. So you'll get out earlier and you can start your career earlier. And um, the internships we're required to do, and it seems like stressful, but I think they're really fun because you get to actually see, because um, in high school you don't usually get to get into the workplace like um, as much as you could with an internship. So it's really cool to like learn and you figure out, if you are set on a career and you do an internship and you realize you don't like it, you can save a lot of money, a lot of time, energy, Stuff like that. <laughs> um, I actually didn't play any sports, <laughs> but uh, I participated in coalition, and um, and then there was early college. Obviously, I think with having early college and having such like little time at high school, I ended up just um, being more kind of focusing on the college part. Just for me, I know a lot of my friends in early college also have stuff at the high school and they can maintain, but. Um, I just, I didn't overload my schedule and I kind of focused on getting my, like passing my college classes and getting credit and stuff like that. But coalition was really nice because um, the community, you get to talk about things that not, like you don't necessarily get to talk about like at high school. So you get to go to a place and like share things and um, work out problems in the community. So it's fun. I would tell students who want to be valedictorian to learn from everything. Um, I think there's a lesson in everything. And always do your best because even if you don't succeed or things don't go your way, you can settle with the fact that you tried. I think that's important. Uh, at least if you do your best, there's not much more you can do. Because you're not always going to succeed, but um, if you're trying, and you think something isn't going to work out, chances are like there's a better chance of something working out. Um, I thank my parents, my family, for always being supportive, and my friends, too. I think it's important to surround yourself with people that um, keep you going and don't um, hold you back from doing things. My name is Shannon Grzynski, and my GPA is 4.083. I plan on going to Wayne State University. I want to be a dentist because ever since I was like three years old, I've always been interested in teeth. I know that sounds weird, but I don't know. I'm just interested in it. I think with the math and science classes that I've had at MST, it's really prepared me because when you go into like pre-dentistry, you're going to need a lot of those courses, science and math. So I think the challenge here also helped because the classes at the homeschool were so easy compared to MST, so it's just easy to get A's there. In 10th grade, I was on JV volleyball, but I decided to quit after because I think I lost the passion for it, and also I wanted to focus on school to become where I am, or to be where I am right now. And I'm also in NHS, well, National, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, MST, not at Lance Cruz North. So. I think JV Volleyball helped me the most just because I learned how to manage my time a lot because I had practice every single day, games twice a week, and then tournaments every other weekend. So with all my schoolwork and stuff, balancing all of that and volleyball, it just helped me with the years that I wasn't playing volleyball. Honestly, just don't focus on your grades as much as like everyone tells you to. And I know test scores are also important, but like you're more than just a number and you're more than just a GPA and colleges make it seem like everyone is just a number and it's just not, that's just not how it is. And obviously good grades are really important, but Balancing like school and fun is more important, I think. I like to thank my mom, obviously, because she always pushes me to do my best. And 
even if I didn't get a good grade on a test or anything like that, like she was always there for me and it was just like, it's okay, like you'll do better on the next one. She never like yelled at me or anything. She doesn't push me to like get A pluses on everything, you know, so. My name's Tiffany Hassey. I have a GPA of 4.028 and I'm deciding on either Northland College or Central Michigan University. I want to become an environmental scientist and high school has helped me by like allowing me to take classes regarding that. So I'm in AP environmental science, I was in like AP chemistry, and I just kind of discovered my love for science there. So I'm not really that athletic, I'm not good at much, but I was in National Honor Society and I'm the co-president of yoga club. Um, I really liked yoga club because I'm with my friends there and it's just a really nice time to de-stress and have fun. Um, they've helped me like learn to interact with others and to seek help from like teachers and mentors as well. So, uh, A future career that I plan to pursue is something in the forensics field and high school has helped me prepare, that, prepare for that by having a job shadowing opportunity through the MST program at Panko. Uh, through high school, I was a member of Student Council, Link Crew, National Honor Society, and I volunteered with the softball program. I liked volunteering with the softball program the most because it gave me an opportunity to be a member of the softball community without having to play. Uh, my activities really helped me succeed because they gave me the opportunity to connect with new friends and meet people that I would have never talked to otherwise. My name is John Hellner and my GPA is 4.211. I am going to attend the University of Michigan. Well, I don't know, it's been my dream school like ever since my sister went there and she graduated like three years ago. So like getting to see her go there and like all the great things that she's done there, it really kind of caught my attention. And ever since then, it's been the school I've wanted to go to. Well, right now I'm thinking biology. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. So like maybe bioengineering or something in that area, maybe like the medical field. Well, sophomore year here at MST, I took AP Biology and I just love that class so much. The teacher, Mr. Natural, and he was like really awesome. So just taking that class made me really love biology. And ever since then, I've wanted to do that. After school, I did Go Green Club, MST Leadership Council, NHS, and Varsity Tennis. Like, it's allowed me to learn more about leadership skills, which I honestly really never had before. So just getting to gain those has helped a lot. I would say just do you, because honestly, I myself, I procrastinate everything, and like, that's like kind of frowned upon. My grades are still pretty good, so I'd say just do what works for you. Don't really listen to what other people say you should do to succeed, and rather, whatever you think will work best for you, you should do. All right, well first I have to thank my mom and dad because they never really pressured me in school, but rather they just uh, supported me throughout high school instead of really just putting pressure on me to do well, so that was really good help. I like to thank my sister because she did really well in high school, so that kind of inspired me to do well. My brother, obviously. Also my group of friends, because a lot of them are valid Victorians too, so just having that support system there too really helped. And also my dog Jovi, <laughs> because I don't know, I just love him. So he's always just been nice to see him after a stressful day of school. <laughs> so my name is Sarah. My GPA is 3.977, and I'm attending the Culinary Institute of America. Well, I'm going into baking and pastries to be an executive pastry chef. And I think time management and like setting my priorities was a big help in high school and just working really hard. So when I was younger, I really enjoyed baking and like from then on, I had my, my mind set on going to baking like a culinary school. So um, I noticed that we had a culinary arts program here. So I was like, hey, I'm just gonna try it out and see if I still wanna go into it. And I still do, I still love it ever since I was younger. Yeah, so I, um, I'm, I'm on the varsity LCN tennis team. Um, I play one singles. I am in the vice president of Diversity Club, the secretary of National Art Honor Society. I also do National Honor Society and National Technical Honor Society. Um, well, I love Diversity Club because it just puts me in an open mind and just getting to see everyone's views and um, like all of their experiences or anything in their past that's really helped them out throughout their history. And I also love tennis because I've just enjoyed that from a really long time when I was younger. I think, again, with time management and like priorities, I know school comes first, but just them, like with after school activities, I can just let loose and just have fun. And that's what I'd really like to enjoy throughout my life. <laughs> 
Grades are important, yes, but just having fun and just sharing memories with your family and your friends and just enjoying the four, year, four years you have in high school because you're not going to have any of those memories later on when you go out in life. My name is Peyton Jacob. My GPA is a 3.97 and I'm going to Oakland University. I chose Oakland because I have a good scholarship there <laughs> and I, I do want to be close to home because I have younger sisters and so it'll be nice for me to come back when I need to. I want to be a dentist or orthodontist so I am going to get my undergrad there, major in a science and I'm not sure what yet but take like, the pre-dentistry route before actually going to dental school. I think the high school has prepared me for that by offering a lot of AP and honors classes, especially in the math and sciences, and I haven't always taken all of them, but I've tried to and keep a rigorous curriculum of them. I do. I played volleyball for all four years of high school. I'm really big into choir. I'm the secretary of the choir program, and I have done four musicals and many other performances, and I love it. When academics gets to be a lot, then you can go to your activities and extracurriculars to help calm yourself down, and it's a good outlet also for when you don't want to always worry about school. Work hard in school. I know that's easier said than done, but take harder classes than you would normally take. You have to push yourself. You have to do all of your homework, which is very difficult. Also, make sure you study, keep good habits, stay organized, just the main things that you hear from everybody else, but you really have to take it to heart if you want to succeed. My name is Kyra Jefferson. My GPA is 4.048, and I go to Marines Cruz High School North. I plan on going to St. Louis University in Madrid, Spain. I wanted to go into a school that had a really nice engineering program. I would take all my AP credits, so I'd intern as a sophomore, and I um, get to travel the world. So My Spanish classes taught me Spanish, so now I can go to Spain and speak Spanish. And my science classes helped me realize that I actually enjoyed doing science. Um, I wanted to work with airplanes, but also I wanted to kind of save the environment, so I figured I'd go into a field where I could focus on fuel efficiency, which is like a big problem in the world, and work on planes where I can design them in a way that they're more fuel efficient. I was head drum major of the marching band. This year I was student coordinator of the blood drive. I'm secretary of National Honor Society. I'm a member of Link Crew. I was in jazz band for two years. I did the pick orchestra for three years and then I was lead in this year's musical. I was a lead. And then, um, what else did I do? Oh, I did diversity club, Gay Street Alliance, Green Club. I was in chess club for two years until our school got rid of it. Hmm. And, um, you know, that's all I can think of right now. Oh, I was also in the saxophone choir. I can't forget that. That's really important. My favorite? Oh, no. My favorite would have to be either marching band, because it takes up so much of my time, or diversity club, because I feel like it's important and I get to meet so many new people every single time because there's always new people coming every single week. So that's also really nice. Um, it helped me with my time management because before I did not manage my time wisely. Um, so yeah, and it also helped me meet other people because I feel like a lot of the friends that I have right now I wouldn't have had if I didn't do all these clubs and I didn't meet them through the clubs, so yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that if I didn't do as many clubs or anything outside of school, then I would have more time to focus on my academics. So, no, I don't think they help. Oh, plan ahead, definitely. Because I think that if you plan to, like if you plan realistically, then you know, because the reality is that like, if you plan ahead and you decide to take all these hard courses, like AP classes, you're most likely, not everyone's gonna get all A's in every single AP class. So if you plan ahead, then you can, use your strengths to know, okay, I'm gonna get an A here. And then maybe if I mess up, it'll cover it here. And then like you can cover up, not necessarily cover up your mistakes, but make up for your mistakes with your like courses that you choose if you go ahead and plan ahead. I would like to thank Mr. Griffith and Mr. Maddie, who are my two band teachers. And they just really helped me a lot because band is such a big part of my life that they know me so well, and they always try to give me the best advice. So I want to thank them. And I also want to thank Mrs. Saki because she definitely makes it, she does so much for the school already, but specifically for the minority students, 
because she makes us feel like we're at home. Like she does whatever she can by leading Black Student Caucus and doing things like Diversity Club and the Black History Month performance because a lot of teachers don't really, it's not that they don't care about it, but they don't take the initiative to go ahead and reach out to the minority students and make sure that they know that they're heard and Mrs. Saki definitely does that. So I wanna thank her too. I'm Nikki Jansen. My GPA is a 3.007. So where do you wanna to go to college? So I will be attending Grand Valley in the fall. I picked Grand Valley because I love the campus and it's right next to Grand Rapids. So you have the city feel and then you also have the college campus feel and they have a good program for what I wanna go into. I wanna go into graphic design. The art program at my high school has really helped me decide that I wanna go into graphic design because we have great art teachers and they've really encouraged me to stick with art and not just try and do something academically just because I can just pursue my own path. In high school, I have played tennis for four years. I'm also a part of Student Council, National Art Honor Society, and National Honor Society. I'm the secretary. The clubs have really helped me to learn how to manage my time wisely and to make sure that I have a good balance between school and sports and clubs. And um, they've really helped me with gaining a support system because a lot of my friends and coaches, they support me through my academics and make sure that I too have a balance. I think the balance definitely does help me because if I was just doing schoolwork all the time, I would just overwork myself and be stressed and be fried out easier. And I think I definitely would have given up before if it weren't for all the out of school activities that I do. Anybody that's looking to be a valedictorian, I would say just stick to it because at first, I didn't think I was going to be a valedictorian because I was right on the cusp, but I made sure to take the AP classes that could boost my GPA above a 4.0 just so I can make sure that I would be able to be one. So it's possible for anybody if you just put the work in and have a good support system. Um, I'd like to thank my parents because they really have pushed me and supported me the whole way. They didn't expect me like to get great grades. like. They just were there for me and didn't care if like I did bad on a test or whatever. They just knew that I could keep it up and they would support me no matter what. So they've been really influential. Uh, my name is Vincent Yuan and my GPA is uh, 4.043 4 and I will go to the University of Minnesota. I heard that that's a pretty nice school and the faculty level, I mean the academic level that's pretty high and I can got a better education there, and everyone says, no, oh, that, that's a nice place, and so I think that's good. Uh, I want to do business, uh, so I applied the Carlson Business School. Uh, I did some program about the business before with my teacher in China, and we go to research the market, we just done some investigation like that and I think that's pretty useful for my college learning you know when I'm tired I, I go do some sports like swimming ride my back and uh, basketball like that it can makes me calm down and to you know uh, do a better job you know I got 101 in the last semester in pre-call the final grade and uh, I think uh, practice is really important. If you do that question again and again, and, or change numbers in the questions and redo it, do the homework. Uh, thanks to my teachers in this school, they helped me a lot. When the first time I was in the school, I was in class, I'm so confused because, you know, although I learned some some English, some listening skills, some speaking skills, but I'm still not good at that until now. <laughs> and um, our teacher, uh, no, my teachers just told me, uh, be free to ask me anything. If you don't understand it, okay, we will stop and I will explain it to you. So thanks to my teachers. My name is Sarah Knotts. My GPA is a 4.1 and I'm going to college at University of Detroit Mercy. I either want to go into sports medicine or mechanical engineering. I'm not completely decided yet, but I know like the science classes have definitely like thought or gave me a boost of what I wanted to do. 
I think mechanical engineering, the passion that sparked it was actually the boat regatta at our school. Since like we had our groups and we got to build the boat and there's a bunch of different factors that went into it, I thought it was just kind of really cool. Yeah, I took AP Physics my junior year and I've been doing a couple other AP classes too with it. I haven't participated in any sports in school, but I have done competitive dance outside of school and that's been kind of my life since I was two years old. I dance at an underground dance company and I dance four to seven days a week depending on the time of year it is. When it gets closer to competitions, I'm constantly dancing every day, all night, so I have to like really balance out dance and homework. So that's been a struggle, but it's also been, it like made me learn how to manage my time also. Yeah, dance definitely um, helped me manage my time and I feel like my studio helped me become a better person than I am now. They taught me discipline and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I mean, your grades definitely do matter as soon as you start high school, even if you don't think about it since you know it's only your freshman year, it's the beginning of high school, but it will affect your future because I wasn't aiming to be valedictorian, but it definitely did help me in the end earn a lot of money for Detroit Mercy. I wouldn't be able to afford it without my grades. So I'd say just try to do your absolute best, but at the same time, don't overwork yourself either because that can like really mess you up. Yeah, um, I definitely thank my parents for just supporting me no matter like what happened with me in high school. They never pushed me to be valedictorian. They'd always just push me to do my absolute best and that happened to be my best. And um, definitely all the teachers in high school that gave me like great advice. Uh, my name is Alyssa Longo. My GPA is 4.074, and I'm going to the University of Michigan. Um, so my plan in the future is to go into medicine, and U of M is a world-renowned medical school, so I feel like going there will give me a good background and a good head start into the direction I want to head for my future. Um, definitely something in pediatrics. I love working with kids. I'm not totally sure yet, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so definitely being an MST has prepared me a lot because it's been um, a challenging road, so it's given me a good work ethic, and it's also really shown me what my interests are and what my interests aren't. Um, I was involved in a lot in high school, so I was involved in student council and the executive board, um, National Honor Society, Link Crew, uh, different community service organizations. I also played travel soccer and varsity soccer for my high school. Either like student council and the leadership stuff I do, or soccer, because I love them both. It's actually been really helpful having a lot of stuff going on because it's taught me really how to manage my time and how to put my priorities first. And I noticed that like during busier seasons of soccer and stuff, I actually was more successful because it forced me to, you know, really um, concentrate my times onto the things that really matter. So that they've helped me a lot in that aspect. Um, just keep pushing all the way through. You know, it's going to get tough sometimes and you're going to wonder why you're doing it, but in the end the payoff is great. It's gotten me into a great school. It's um, taught me so many things about the value of hard work and um, yeah, so I would definitely just say keep persevering and keep pushing and it'll all be worth it in the end. Um, definitely my parents for all their support and my grandparents because um, they're always helping my family with every possible thing and all my MST teachers for always supporting not only me but all their students in every aspect of their academic and just outside of school. Um, my name is Haley Murphy. My GPA is a 4.023 and I'm going to college at Ferris State University. In my future I would like to be a pharmacist and high school helped me by that, like prepared me for that by like offering like classes that like, I don't know, like chemistry and stuff. Like I took AP chemistry and it like helped me like know that I like chemistry. <laughs> um, I participated in Key Club and Diversity Club and I did Go Green Club for a couple years and I'm in National Honor Society and then Mu Alpha Theta. My favorite club I was in was Key Club because I really liked helping the community with my friends, because a lot of my friends were in that club. Gave me a lot of opportunities to help. My name is Olivia Ozark. I have a 4.1 GPA, and in the fall I'll be attending Grand Valley State University. I went to major in biology as a pre-med major. My plan for the future is to be an ophthalmologist. High school has definitely prepared me by allowing me to take so many different honors courses and AP classes. Without having taken AP Chemistry or AP Biology, I don't think I ever would have discovered my love for science. 
I'm currently on the varsity tennis team. I also was on National Honor Society, Link Crew, and I participated in the yearbook club, so I was the editor for the yearbook. They definitely allowed me to schedule things accordingly. I learned about time management, what I had to do after school, how I could manage everything so everything would fit my schedule, and just meeting new people, being introduced to different kinds of people has helped me in so many different ways. I developed new skills, uh, different communication skills. I would say to work hard during your four years of high school. Academics are really important for your future, but remember to have fun too. Go to the different social events, activities, because having fun and being involved is just as important as academics are. I would have to thank my teachers. Without them, I don't think I'd be in the position I am today, especially Miss Argyri. She definitely taught me that hard work does pay off, and she pushed me and motivated me harder than any teacher ever had and believed in me, too. My name is Jan Amparatori. My GPA is 4.043, and I'm undecided for college still. <laughs> I've taken some like anatomy classes and psychology, which really interest me, so hopefully somewhere along in that direction. Yeah. I'm thinking medicine, but I'm not like for sure set on that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a part of uh, the drama club. I do theater at uh, the high school, and I play tennis. Um, I'm in NHS, Key Club, Yoga Club, Link Crew. Mm -hmm. NHS has helped me out a lot because you get to reach out to, to your community mm -hmm. and um, I am a parliamentarian so I'm on the e-board for NHS so it's cool I get to like um, pick some stuff out that we like volunteer with so it's really cool. Definitely don't stress out too much. I know easier said than done but um, you really have to focus like definitely plan out your future but don't be so focused on that that you like miss out on the present. <laughs> I would like to thank my parents. They've, uh, they're obviously super supportive with whatever I do. Okay, my name is Delaney Patras. My GPA is 4.030 and I'm planning on going to Wayne State University. I think I'm going into nursing when I go to college this fall and I think like I'm taking this preschool class but um, even though that's not like a nursing class specifically, I think that class um, has, is going to help me prepare because it's a lot of interaction with other people, like talking to the parents, talking to the kids, so I think that class has helped me a ton. At school, I'm in NHS. I was in student council for three years. Um, I'm in Meal for Theta, stuff like that, but outside of school, I do dance for like a dance studio. I think like advice that I really could have used is just to like keep a healthy balance between work and school and like other sports because I know it can be like overwhelming when you mix them all together and just kind of take time for yourself because I think that's really important to like step back and it's not all about like school and work and stuff like that and just really focus on like. Um, I would like to thank obviously my parents are super supportive and like the hardest working people I know but I think like school specifically um, I am really like inspired by my older sister I think she's just really dedicated and like works really hard about um, everything she does so I think that's really inspiring and yeah, I just really look up to her a lot. My name is Maddie Pritchett. My GPA is 4.156, and I plan on going to Michigan State University. I went to the campus, and I just loved it from the moment I stepped on. It was really beautiful, and I could just see myself there. Um, I'm thinking about majoring in psychology, but I might go on to law school later. Just the classes that I've been in, AP classes and honors and MST, have helped me prepare for how much work I'm probably going to get. So, and time management too. So I was in cross country for three years. I did track for two years. I was in link crew. Um, I did MST leadership council for a year. I did meal for theta for two years and NHS as well. Specifically, meal Alpha theta, I was the secretary there and that was the first sort of um, actual responsibility that I had to take on. So I think that was good, just learning how to do things myself and not uh, asking for help so much. You have to definitely work hard and manage your time properly, but also make sure that you're okay outside of school too. You need to make sure you have solid friendships because that's what keeps you going when it gets hard, the stuff that you have fun doing outside of school. Um, I would say my parents probably just because more than anyone else, they've always supported me in all of my decisions and told me that I can do anything that I set my mind to. I know it sounds cheesy, but... It's true. <laughs> it's totally true. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'm Harper Purvin. My GPA is a 4.054 and I am attending University of Michigan. Um, I'm undecided on what I want to do, but I'm definitely interested in pursuing something involving art. And high school has prepared me because we have a great art program at my school and the art instructor at my school has gone above and beyond in helping me in, enter in competitions and to create some great pieces. Um, I've been drawing since I was little, so it's always just been something I've done since I was little. But I, he, um, the instructor really like got my interest sparked up even more. I was just thinking incorporating art into what I do want to do, so maybe I was thinking architecture or interior design, something along those lines, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I do dance here at Pankow, and I also have played soccer all four years at the high school. Um, I think soccer was my favorite just because I really got to bond with the girls on the team and we really formed a close-knit uh, group of girls and we work well together and I like my coach. It's really helped me to learn how to manage my time better because with practice every day and taking um, you know, hard classes, it's really helped me to learn how to balance sports and academics and get my time management skills. I would tell you not to procrastinate and to stay on top of everything that you have to do so that it doesn't build up and stress you out because it, high school can be very overwhelming at times, but if you stay on top of everything, it kind of takes some of that stress off of you. I'd like to thank my parents for always encouraging me and pushing me to do my best and helping me in hard times and encouraging me not to give up, but also um, my art teacher, as I've mentioned before, and my AP Lang and Comp teacher, Mrs. Opaleski, has also been extremely helpful and supporting. So I'd like to thank her and all of my teachers at Lance Cruz High School have helped me. My name is Nicole Ravino and my GPA is a 4.004. In the fall, I will be attending Oakland University. So at Oakland, I plan on studying education uh, with hopes to become an elementary school teacher one day. And Lance Cruz has helped me by giving me the Teens for Tots program or like the early childhood class where I was able to work with preschool students. Ever since I was young, I've always just wanted to be a teacher and so I grew up like playing school with my friends and so I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. In high school, I was a part of Student Council, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, uh, Link Crew, and I am the president of the Future Teachers Club. My favorite club would probably have been Student Council because we just get to like work on the homecoming stuff and it's just fun time. Just getting that balance of like school and after school activities I think will help me with college with maintaining all of the work. Um, for students that want to become the next valedictorians, I would say to stay organized and stay on top of your workload so that way you have time to have fun with your friends. So if I had to thank someone for my accomplishment, I would thank my mom and my best friend Haley Rodoisik for always pushing me to be my best. My name is Anthony Sikowski. I have a GPA of 4.01 and in the fall I plan on going to Lawrence Tech to study computer engineering. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and work somewhere in the engineering or computer field. Not sure yet, it just I'll see how things go, but with, especially the Pankow Center with all the computer classes in MST, that really helped me find what I liked. I'm a part of the FIRST Robotics Club, Mu Alpha Theta, National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society. I found a a small group of people with similar interests and really got to know them and make a whole bunch of friends. I guess my parents. They, they, they pushed me enough to get to where I am today without overdoing it in any way. So that was good. Oh uh, yes, my name is Myla Seminition. My GPA is 4.015 and I plan to attend U of M because it's the number one public university in the country, and I grew up a Michigan fan all my life, and my cousins and my family all have went there, and it's kind of a family tradition now. I plan to study statistics, um, maybe be a statistician for a sports team. I really like sports, so a franchise would be really good, maybe like the Pistons or the Lions. I did cross country all four years, and then I'm in quite a few clubs, Move Alpha Theta, National Honor Society. Well, my favorite thing, I guess, is cross country. Even though the running part isn't necessarily the funnest part, I had really great coaches who were really supportive. 
and really great teammates, and that's where I met the majority of my friends. They've helped me because I've had someone to relate to. A lot of my um, cross-country partners or people on the team, they're really smart, so we were able to like do homework together. And then I had coaches who gave really advi like, good advice, and they were just good people overall to talk to, spend time with. I took AP Statistics my junior year. Um, I had a really good teacher in MST. And I would say just don't give up. Hard work will get you anywhere. Um, it's not always the smartest person who's a valedictorian, but it's the person who worked the hardest. My family, my friends, uh, my cousins who inspired me to work hard to make it to U of M. Teachers, I'm really thankful for my teachers. I've had great teachers throughout my whole high school career. Uh, my name is William Jean. My GPA is 4.08, and I'm planning to go to University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. They're pretty good at mechanical engineering, and that's the field I want to study in. I also got Purdue, but um, this Illinois is just more um, comprehensive. Well, for the first, it is the app. These MST classes, well, they are surely helpful, especially Miss Deliberty. She's really been putting a lot of effort on us. Uh, especially, I come from China, so at the first few months, Miss Deliberty put a lot of effort on me just to help me to uh, get around, help me to know what's going on, and understand what she's talking about. And well, now I have perfect grade in her class. That's good. I'm not a very sportive guy. Well, uh, there are a couple of things I can remember. I sometimes do football, and back in China, I, am, uh, I play basketball. But not that kind of good. And what I'm interested in is more like some activities, like Model United Nations and some debate. Well, for the first, I trained my English skills because all these conferences and all these debates are in English. And it helped me with my logic. It is a process of building your logic. I would encourage not only the guys want to be valedictorian, but also everyone, like each American student, because I've been in Chinese education system and American education system. I know what American system does not have. It is persistence and hardworking. That is one of the most important elements that doesn't have in American system. So uh, guys have to count on themselves. Like when your teacher gives you homework, you can do extra. The teacher said you can only, uh, you just need to do the odd number, you can do them all. It has to be hardworking. Hardworking is the only way to success. I'm not a smart guy. <laughs> I got all what I got by hard work. Uh, I would like to thank my mom for, for the start. Well, she pays my tuition, that's for sure. <laughs> and also she kind of inspired me on English and literature. That is something I think other moms cannot provide. <laughs> yeah, and she also told me how to be a responsible person, how to like be a man. My name is Summer Sun. My GPA is 4.047. And uh, I'm going to uh, Case Western Reserve University in Ohio, Cleveland this fall and I'm going to learn about biochemistry. The biochemistry and the bioengineering are uh, like really professional in this college and that's what I really want. Uh, I want to be a biochemist um, with my maybe my own lab and do some researches and work for like advanced stuff. Uh, well I love biology and chemistry since my middle school and until now, there is the cooperation between Las Cruz and my Chinese school. Mm -hmm. Like I will stay in there for two years and come here for one year of my senior year. So I learned a lot in past two years and I'm sure I can be confident enough to be here. So I just come here, yeah. I took part in the um, Go Green Club. 
there's like the AP bio camp here, mm -hmm. hosted by my uh, biology teacher, and I took this too. Yeah. Um, well, Go Green Club is my own choice. Like I want to help around the school to clean clean up the things and make school better and make my mood better too. I did the Go Green Club and I can like walk around and relax myself and help school a little bit. Well, my whole MSTP biology class helped me a lot, both Miss Music and the other eight classmates, like they knew I'm from China and I'm now really good at some terms. So they explained for me and helped me a lot on, you need to work hard and keep persistent on what you want to do, keep a better mood and be happy. Yeah, my name is Abby Sipniewski. My GPA is 4.075 and I plan to go to U of M. Um, I really want to study computer science and eventually like focus on software development. Um, the ultimate goal would be like developing software for like gaming and stuff. Um, high school has prepared me. I took a lot of like higher level classes throughout it. So I think um, I've gotten very good at like taking lecture notes and stuff just with like I know Mr. Nectarline from AP Bio and like AP Lang was a class that really helped me. Almost, I don't want to say like overachieving, but like almost over preparing myself with like harder classes. I struggled with it, but in the end, I think it really benefited me. I joined tennis my sophomore year. And so I moved my way up to varsity, which is pretty cool. I'm also in National Honor Society, Student Council, um, Alpha Theta. And um, in the Pankhouse Center, I established like a Science National Honor Society, which is pretty cool. I was in MST Leadership Council, so that's kind of how it started. I was in charge of like that committee. And so we never really had any intentions of like establishing a whole new club. We just wanted to set up science tutoring. But like one thing led to another. And so like me and this group of like five other kids, um, we ended up making like this whole thing and it's really cool. They've really given me a lot of like leadership skills and independence in like my own work outside of school and stuff. And yeah, they basically taught me like how to work hard and like work together as a team with other people too. I would say don't stress yourself out too much and don't focus on the failures. Like don't get yourself into more than what you can handle because I like made the mistake of doing that like my freshman year and like through that I've had to like um, learn what I really want to do and like what I can like live without and so don't overstress yourself. <laughs> I like to thank my family for always supporting me. Um, Madame Howard and Mrs. Ferrari are two teachers that really like helped me throughout high school and like were always there for me and supported what I wanted to do. So I'm Jonathan Vespa, my GPA is a 4.1 and I plan on attending the University of Michigan in the fall. So in the future I see myself as a mechanical engineer and I'm hoping to be more in the automotive discipline and Landscrews has helped me mostly through the Pankow program and MST challenging me as much as I can in both math and science because that's where I want to be when I grow up. So the MST program really pushed me to my boundaries for math and science. It showed me like very difficult math classes that aren't offered at the home school as well as science classes that aren't taught the same way with the same people and then in the same environment. MST is really good with pairing you with students that are similar to you and have similar goals. At the home school, it's not always like that. You're not always people who are you're not always with people who are striding for the same things as you are as MST is. So I played LCU hockey for the school in my only my senior year, but travel every year before that. And then I'm in student council, National Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta Honor Society. My favorite has to be student council. I've been involved with it all four years, and now I'm vice president. And it's what helped me be the leader that I am today through different activities like the States Conference up in Grand Rapids two years in a row. I'd say make sure you involve yourself, but not too much. Don't overcommit, but never give up. Always keep working. It'll all work out in the end, no matter what. I'd like to thank mostly my family, whether it's my dad or my two sisters. They've always been pushing me to do my best and offering me uh, messages of support whenever it's got tough. My name is Angie Vita. My GPA is 4.125, and I plan on going to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Um, I'm hoping to be a clinical pharmacist when I grow up, and the school has like helped me get towards that path and figure it out with all the AP classes that they provide, especially MST because we have like a job shattering program or component that we have to um, fulfill. So um, I had to shadow like a pharmacist over the summer and it was really interesting to see like what they do and it helped me see like the skill sets that I would need to get to that goal.
Um, so I have been involved in Diversity Club, Leadership Council, MST, Neo Alpha Theta, National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society, and the Student Advisory Committee. I feel like my two favorite clubs were Diversity Club and MST Leadership Council. Um, I like Diversity Club the most because of the fact that we created an inclusive culture in our school, so that was really important to me. And in both situations with both clubs, I learned to um, become like a better leader and learn how to delegate more. And it was just really fun to like help contribute to the community in both ways. I would say that let your motivation stem not just from grades, but more from just like your passion and interest in learning because it also makes school a lot more enjoyable. I would like to thank my parents most because they've been so supportive in um, all of like my academic goals and everything. And also my teachers for helping me like get out there and encouraging me to like push myself each and every day. I'm Maxwell Freeman. I have a 4.051 GPA and I'm going to Western Michigan University. You know, I was immediately kind of attached to Western as soon as I got there. I kind of knew it was the school for me. It just felt right. I can't describe it. I feel like when you go to the university or college or wherever you want to go, you just feel right where you are. I actually want to be a chemical engineer, probably minor in um, energy management, something like that. I want to develop new uh, fuels in cars, something like that, just more environmentally friendly. I'd say um, MST really helped me. I mean, calculus, chemistry, AP chemistry, which is helping me a lot now. But overall, high school has helped, but I'm excited for college to help me even more. Actually, I was a baseball player for a while. I played in um, ninth and 10th grade for the school. I also do um, Lansker's Quiz Bowl. I was just a member. I wasn't a captain or anything. Well, it was, I hate to say it like this, but it was kind of like a distraction from school. So it was like fun to get out and do things that weren't all like homework, let's do homework, uh, schoolwork, studying. Gotta take a break. Every once in a while, just do what you like. Like, I don't sit down and read, but I'll sit down, I'll watch TV, I'll go outside and play basketball maybe. Just something like that to just kind of decompress your brain. If you're, if you're working hard, keep it up. But if you're not working hard, start now because the road to success starts here and it started a while ago, but you can start whenever you want. My parents, I'd love to thank them. I mean, you even, uh, my friend John, um, my grandparents, they're super important to me. My brother, most of all, he really inspires me. My name is Peyton Walsh and my GPA is 4.082. I want to go to U of M. Um, they have a really good program for the major that I want to go into and it should like offer a lot of opportunities for like after college. Um, I want to work in government, like politics, in Washington DC. So I'm not exactly sure what, but something there. Um, I just really like like learning about like current events. I've learned like a good like worth work ethic and mm. like how to like man manage my time well and stuff from so much homework and like after school activities. So that'll be helpful. Yeah, it's have. a balancing act yeah. for sure. Yeah. So um, you mentioned after school activities, what were you in? Um, after school, I was in color guard, tennis, uh, Mu Alpha Theta, diversity club, NHS. Um, I would say color guard is my favorite um, because it like allowed me to meet a lot of new people and it was like really fun. Um, the after school activities have, like I said before, they helped me like manage my time better. And also like I learned some like leadership skills through Color Guard and like I met a bunch of different people and like, I don't know, that kind of helped me like see different sides of things. Um, if I had to give someone advice, I would say that like spend like like dedicate your time to like doing homework, but also find something else to do that like you can, like you can go to like practice or something or go there and it'll like keep your mind off of your homework and the stress. So like you don't get too stressed. I would like to thank my parents cause like they've always been supportive and like they've encouraged me to like do what I wanna do instead of just like push me to be like good in school. And also my friends cause they're super supportive too.